Okay guys, we're at Wilmslow. Sorry, we're in Wilmslow, at Wilmslow Station. Let's have a look around. We're just outside the train station, railway station, and uh, big trees everywhere. It's got a nice vibe. Wilmslow is in Cheshire. It's very well-to-do, very middle class. Uh, a lot of rich people have houses here. And uh, I've not been back here for, for many years, maybe half a decade, so it's time, guys. Does anyone want to redevelop the microbrewery, the brew house here in Wilmslow? It's, uh, it's for sale. Here's the back of it. What's that thing in the middle? Is that uh, some sort of vent for a fire, some sort of middle fire there on the table? Looks fancy. You know, if this was in Salford, there'd be uh, 10 crackheads living in there. Oh, how lovely. The middle classes of Wilmslow are coming out for some market trading. A bit of the old uh, rustic, a bit of the artisan. Oh, it's so authentic, Jemima. Jemima, it's, it's, it's handmade by poor people in Ecuador. Oh, darling, it's lovely. Genuine poor people in the Andes. Oh, scented candles. Oh, yes. Gravy, eh? Okay. Here we've got the poshest Scotch eggs in the world. Four pounds each. They do look good, though. And that yolk does look uh, nice, dark orange. That does look good. You know what? It's all right. Everyone's quite cheerful and happy. I had a nice Scotch egg chat with two posh people a minute ago. And uh, we all agreed that a nice dark orange yolk is a sign of a healthy chicken. Into the mirror. Hi. Hi, hi. Anyway, it's a nice bathroom. They are uh, well off people like uh, extravagant wallpapers. I've already passed the posh wallpaper shop. In fact, I'll go back and show you guys the posh wallpaper shop. Anyone for posh wallpaper? Little greeny? Little green? Like they've got three little examples there on the wall. They do like their dashunt in the countryside. We got hunter wellies and everything. On brand. <laughs> Even the shitty residential modern units just look a bit posher and a bit uh, more expensive here. There's a, uh, is it Danish? Bang and Orlufsen, the uh, high end audio shop. And Handelsbanken. Handelsbanken. You guys like cheese? You like, uh, che you like cheese on cheese? You like. Grilled cheese in a grilled sandwich with a, a grilled man. Do you like to be grilled about your grilled cheese sandwich? They like cheese here. Oh, the leafiness. The leafiness. Just out of the town centre. Leafy. Side street. Victoria Road. Leafy. Yes. Um, it's the glass extension on the side of this giant corner detached house that I like. Let me just do a little rant about uh, spiteful, everyday, normal people and uh, rich areas. It's a lot easier to believe that rich people in uh, nice areas like this are holding all the magic lands away from you, that it's unfair, it's uh, oppression, that the rich are hoarding these nice areas for themselves and making everyone else live in poor, dirty, crime-ridden shitholes. But that's just your brain coping, making you feel less bad. The truth is, is that rich people live in nice areas because they build nice things, they keep the streets clean, they don't chop the trees down, and it's a general nice vibe, a gentlemanly and ladylike vibe. And uh, it's a little bit disconcerting at times when you live in Walkden, where your symphony every night is emergency vehicles, you hear screaming domestics around you, your neighbor's smoke alarm batteries aren't being changed, so you get the eternal chirp of the permanent present moment. How do they not get annoyed that every 30 seconds it goes chirp, chirp, chirp? Okay, one chirp. But it's officially the official chirp of the eternal present. Okay, here, we're, still, we're just leaving Victoria Road. It's Audi, Mercedes, Bentley, Rolls, Tesla, Audi, Fiat. But here's, uh, do you want to see some, some upper middle class violence? Look at this. 
I thought it said car parking, but no, he's saying crap parking. Triple, you know, the white guy's serious. I'm assuming it's a white guy to carry on the joke of white people being gentlemanly and quite tame. But uh, when you put the triple exclam exclamation mark, you know there's trouble. Now, let me see if I can see what he's referring to. Maybe, oh, there's, there's more than enough space for cars over here, but someone that lives here in Sunny Lee Muse is annoyed that uh, A5 boy is one foot, one foot in the grave. Victor Meldrew on Victoria Road, of all things. So there you go. Hello. <laughs> I just like the effect of something moving fast past the camera. Hope you like it too. Every day, my desire to use the National Health Service decreases and my need to use private services increases. Is that the plan all along? Until they start charging 10 or 20 pounds for people to go to A&E or get a GP appointment, it will always be clogged up by the obsessive people who love hospitals, love doctors, love going to the clinic, love going to the GP. Yeah, for anyone that doesn't want to wait 16 hours or seven years for an operation, you have to go private. And, 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 but the resentment, the rage, that feeling of powerlessness and bitterness that this country has literally filled itself up with ungrateful, spiteful scumbags who will get all the National Health Services for free. Ugh. Maybe, guys, the time for arguments has long passed. Maybe there is no political solution to what we may have to do. Danish, I think. Danish. Danish. High-quality TV. Reed's range in a nice area. It's, uh... It's an estate agent, or what the Americans would call a, a real tour. A real tour. Let's have a look at some of the reality. Uh, yeah, so um, half a million for something which in Salford would be 180,000. <laughs> um, yeah, but um, we, we've had the chat, haven't we, about nicer areas? We have, haven't we? Okay, anything for rent? Uh, asking for a friend, asking price. All right, here we go. Oh, here we go. Here we go. 800,000 pounds, about 1 million US dollars. And uh, it looks like a little granny bungalow. <laughs> hey, I heard you like 911, so I got a 911 and I put 911 on the license plate. Prices are utterly insane, like actual mental patient. <laughs> insane. Three and a half thousand pounds for an electric bike. It's not even a premium brand and it's, it's sold. Someone's, someone looked at that and said, yeah, three and a half thousand, take my effing money. Check out this flower box and the flowers on here. Look at that. I'm sorry? Oh, you guys. No, you're very handsome and good looking you are. But I apologize for not taking a photograph of you. Well, unless you drive a big Chelsea tractor, a big uh, German or a British Land Rover, Range Rover type, big four wheel drive vehicle, you are a peasant. You wouldn't be seen dead in, uh, in central, what's that, the Rex Cinema? Is that an actual cinema? In central Wilmsy, without that. And continuing the good car theme. Ferrari, Ferrari, Ferrari. Ferrari, sounds quite nice, Italiana. Now, if you're a proper gangster and you want a getaway car, get the uh, 740D, the M version, M Sport. Uh, 7 Series BMW for you and all your friends to get away at high speed. There was a, a Pink Panther robbery in Dubai in a shopping mall. I think they used Audi A6s, I think. Um, and they would have gotten away with it, but uh, someone left some documents behind. Look at this. Look at this land yacht. A big white Bentley whale. Now everyone's buggered because of what? what it's on a Saturday. Temporary traffic lights. They love it. Okay, yes, it takes a place like Cheshire and Wilmslow to make Aston Martin seem common. This is like my local Renault dealership. You've got bored people coming in. Yeah, I need, I need a family one with four doors. Oh, there you go. There's your, your new DBX or whatever they've named it. I hate to say this. It looks like a, a Ford Puma with uh, makeup on. Now, when the light does go green, it's the sheepishness with which people drive through. The stickiness of the normies. Yeah, he wasn't good. Oh, wow, my God, that's catch a crime on video. Two crimes. I'll give Ferrari guy the benefit of the doubt. 
it was orange for another millisecond. But who here shares the sentiment that any lights, people need to have their fucking bollocks ready. Like, get ready to, to actually move. It's not like, oh, it's gone green. I better put my mobile phone away, scratch my balls, put it into gear, slowly go forward, make sure I look around so that all the other normies can see how I'm stuck to them cognitively. No, just fucking go, man. Oh, just off camera, a lot of beeping. This is like one of these three, in fact, one, two, three, four, five. This is a, who's shouting? Oh, Karen, Karen in the mini, she's kicking off. She's angry. There she is, angry girl. That's a, a perfectly natural uh, hydrogen peroxide hair she's got there. Now, uh, I do feel for people when the highway maintenance temporary traffic lights come out. Hawthorne Street. Because, uh, oh, first of all, look at that, wildflowers, woo! Because, uh, you know what? If they didn't have any temporary traffic lights at all, I bet you the drivers around here could figure it out by waving and flashing and letting a few cars go. Like, it always amazes me when there's a power cut, how people don't all die instantly at traffic light junctions. They manage, and sometimes it flows better. <laughs> Oh, you won't believe it, kids. You won't believe it. They're installing a 5G. F five grams. Five grams will take any lad down. 5G. It's progress. Look. What's in these cables? What's that? Is that fiber opto? Yeah, uh, it's, a, it's a something. Now, uh, the installers are probably thinking I'm a conspiracy theorist, thinking 5G is going to sterilize me or something, but I, uh, I've not seen any evidence that the non-ionizing radiation from 5G towers are any different to 4G, 3G, 2G, 1G. Yeah, yeah, I'm just, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a homosexual, I like seeing hard men working. No, I'm only joking, I do a YouTube channel around, I'm just... <laughs> no, I'm not against you guys, I, I actually, I'm interested in construction and stuff like that, so carry on, thank you. What's all this? That's the, the data trays. Look at that. Lead. Do not. PB is lead. Plumbum. Plumbum in Latin. PB is the periodic table of elements. Letters for lead. So big yellow batteries. Big yellow batteries. They're doing something here. Now, uh, it's a giant Wi Fi router with uh, big bits on it. Before the new one goes up, the old one must be removed. He is tied up over there. And uh, the boys over here are getting rid, digging it out. It's like removing a, a splinter from your foot. Oh, the satisfaction. Everyone's getting uh, frustrated with this uh, temporary light. We're in the middle here. But uh, we'll come across and have a look at Girl, girl Boss. Now open, 50% off luxury hair extensions. I'll um, swing by and then we'll get a shot. <laughs> you, you are a girl boss. You got luxury hair extensions. Um, I was in Clitheroe the other day and uh, I'd say about 90% of the women had straightened blonde hair from a bottle. I don't know here in Wilmslow what the style is. Maybe they, they like ginger. Maybe they like brunette, maybe they like natural blonde. Now I'm just ranting, I'm gonna shut the f Let us compare these Wilmslow terraced houses directly in front, who look like they are pre-World War I. I would take a guess, pre-World War I. And then I'm gonna flip the camera around and you're gonna see houses built in between World War I and World War II. I would say late 30s, late 30s. And you can already see how the mass machine-like slaughterhouse abattoir of World War I had uh, clipped the bollocks off aesthetics and beauty. And uh, when I see these kind of houses getting renovated and modernized, I don't shed a tear. I don't cry for you, Argentina, because the truth is I never liked this architectural style anyway. The main thing I will remember from my trip to Wilmslow are the massive traffic jams and the fact that I can get a 598 square foot office, not very big, with four car spaces, my God. That's a lot of car space for 500 square feet. Frustration of the Chelsea Tractor. Center screen Range Rover. Alfa Romeo 4x4 
Mercedes 4x4, Jaguar 4x4, and, uh, and an abandoned freezer. Now, everyone pay attention. Look what you can achieve if you don't chop the trees down. Now, this is the thickest, girthiest trunk I've seen all day. If I was to guess, I, I don't know. 500 years old, this tree. It's a beast. It's a big boy. Now, that's what you want, isn't it? Isn't it? Now, there you go. This Cheshire in a nutshell. A uh, G-Wagon. <laughs> and uh, and a, an electric Polestar, but uh, the sun's just come out. It's apparently going to be 23 degrees Celsius. Uh, I hate to tell my viewers, but uh, this is bullshit designed to terrify your junky burglar, your crackhead burglar. Um, there is no such thing as uh, advanced forensic DNA marking. There is such a thing as uh, being able to collect small amounts of DNA very sensitively, but this is, to, this is just to scare the chavs. From the reign of King George, priority postbox, and, uh, and if you blink you'll miss it, a Rover 100, Kensington edition, <laughs> and uh, hiding over here is the, oh, 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 Qu Quaker Meeting House. I just took a nettle to the elbow for that shot, guys. Rover 100. Now we're all wondering, why are they shutting down all of Wilmslow and installing a big 5G uh, telecommunications tower on a Saturday in the middle of summer on a warm day with very little rain? It's almost as if they are incompetent and they don't think of these things. No, they don't. There's the big one removed. They're going to lower down. He's going to lose his... Uh... <laughs> he's, uh, he's a bit flaccid now. Now, uh, he's now in the dangerous uh, flagging down the bus. You don't want to get arrested for a hate crime at that angle. But uh, soon it will be at the petting dog height and then it's legal again. Here we go. He's going to lay it down. I, I wouldn't... That's going to... That's not going to do him well at the back there. I'm getting ready to crouch immediately behind this uh, Passat in front of me. In case that goes spinning like crazy. It doesn't look stable. But again... My Dunning-Kruger is showing. I'm a clever guy, but I know nothing about this subject. So when I talk of it... I come across as a bit stupid. Just a few more inches. Just a few more. He's keeping it good. He's, uh, he's doing well. He's, uh, the other men are admiring how he uh, lowers his massive shaft onto the flatbed truck. And he's touched it to the ground. Now, if you're going to be into business of hoisting communication towers, you better name your company ComHoist. Hello? Bloody hell, we're in a shop window here. Look at how ultraviolet light destroys color in magazine print. There's obviously, what's her name? The princess. And it's destroyed every color apart from blue. Look, it's, it's, it likes blue, because blue on blue, blue light on blue, it's okay. It's killed all the skin tones, the pinks, the golds. And uh, there you go. And uh, thus proving my point, here's a Ford Puma that looks identical to that 4x4 Aston Martin. I just filmed a minute ago. Taking a guess, I'd say they're from Cornwall. They're trying to do the word Cornish with the license plate on their electric Mercedes EQS. I have found the mainstream high street. We're gonna have a look. You don't need to have a Dachshund to live in Wilmslow, but it helps, clearly. Charles Clinkard, what a great surname. Have you ever seen or heard the surname Clinkard? So uh, this little security lock, armored glass, little entry vestibule. It reminds me of a film I watched three days ago called Uncut Gems, starring Adam Sandler. A serious role that he should have got an Oscar nomination. My God, I had a tight sphincter watching that whole movie. Two hours of a Jewish New York jewelry dealer trying to 
balance everything family life relationships gangsters mafia jewish mafia and uh tension guys go watch uncut gems it's on netflix you could probably find it on pirate bay as well exactly jehovah's witnesses last time anyone saw jehovah he was leaving the pub at 11 o'clock last friday now um can I just throw a comment to you? You're not going to bother enough people sat there looking calm and peaceful. You've got to get a bit more evangelical. You've got to really get these atheist heathens. Look at them walking past. They're all having dogs instead of children. You've got to help them out. I'm joking, bro. He's got, he's got a dog and a child. He's okay. But you, you've got to get them away from Satan and onto the path of the JC or the JW, whoever you worship. Anyway, thank you. All the best. I'm scared. I think I found the poor end of Wilmslow. Oh God, I'm gonna take a deep breath, try and avoid eye contact with the normies. And uh, here we go, guys. Bit of a poverty tourism, let's do it. So uh, just to fill you guys in with the Jehovah's Witnesses that were sat down, the guy looked like the, uh, that guy that does the house renovations, location, location. But anyway, I said, guys, um, my name's Charlie. I'm doing a comedy YouTube video. I'm going to roast you guys a bit. Don't be offended. I said, you'll probably forgive me because you're Christians. They laughed. They smiled. They had a nice time. They're like, yeah, go ahead. And he still, hi, ladies. Hello. And he still was giving me death stares by the end of it. It's like, come on, man. Your life is a failure unless you're bathing in a copper bath every day. <laughs> Are they implying that there's a genetic component to homosexuality? All right, guys, this uh, shop here has reminded me to... Oh, look, scans for your baby. Yeah, I can see there being big demand for that. Now, speaking of babies, the Lucy Letby massive talk is coming. I'm not going to avoid it. I know she got found guilty yesterday. We will discuss it. Now there's a Faro and Ball posh wallpaper shop there, posh paints, and you know you're in a good area when it's a, a Waitrose supermarket, the poshest supermarket in Great Britain. We're going to do a very quick one in there. Don't abandon the video, guys. Super quick. Now look, the church is open to people of all faiths and none, even for the heathens, for the heretics. Thank you so much. <laughs> no? Oh. You should. It's very cinematic, very aesthetically pleasing in here. Oh, have you? Oh, very good. No, it's a beautiful church. Uh, about a thousand years old, is it? 700. Oh, wonderful. Thanks, gentlemen. Thank you. So, yeah, there's a recital in uh, not many minutes. And... Uh, I promised my viewers we'd be quick in here, so we will be quick in here. Let's have a look at the 750-year-old area, which is here. Seven hundred and eighty years ago, the rector of Wilmslow, look at this chapel, was Roger Fitton, 1250 to 1280. For 30 years he was the rector, and they still have records of that, which is very impressive. What a gentleman. Henry Boddington, he, uh, he gave these playing fields for the recreation, health, and pleasure of Wilmslow and her children forever. Look at that. What a chad. I think that net field means that they think bits of brick are going to fall off the Wilmslow viaduct onto the cars in the car park. Look how civilized it is here in Wilmslow. They even put free parking for the, 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 the protesters when they come along and protest something. Leafiest roundabout in Wilmslow. Remember that bullshit security DNA system? Here's another one. Look, they don't want the whoever, cable thieves, to take the copper. Leave the copper alone. So they put things like that designed to confuse the yokel. There is no such thing as a DNA system. There's only your DNA. Five bedroom home. 
1.7 million pounds. All right, guys, here we go. Jewelry store robbery, it's all happening. All right, we'll follow the van. There you go. Welcome to Wimslow. Oh, England. You green and pleasant land. Nothing's wrong. Nothing can go wrong when you're drinking pims and lemonade, eating a cucumber sandwich, maybe a bit, of, a cup of a cup of Earl Grey tea, and you watch the cricket. Now, what have the Americans done with cricket? They've uh, turned it into baseball. But uh, anyway, this is Charlie from Wilmy. Okay, ladies and gents, I hope I gave you guys a good vibe, a good uh, look around Wilms. Though there are, of course big residential areas dotted around, plastered around this uh, town and to make sure I don't double up on the exact same content as the last Wilmslow video I've concentrated on slightly more urban settings today with a, few, a bit of a hilarity thrown in just for good measure so anyway I'll see you on the next video which will prob probably be from central Manchester